Hi, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to quickly and easily create a drag and drop uh, widget for your Drupal content types that will also allow uh, uploading multiple files at the same time. And uh, as you'll see this is really quick and easy to set up and is a very handy feature to have uh, on your Drupal website. So as an example just to show you what we're going to do first um, we're going to go ahead and create a new article and this has already been set up so we can demonstrate this. On the desktop we have uh, multiple uh, images and we're going to select them all and in this content type it's just a Drupal article and we've modified the images um, field to allow the multiple uploads using drag and drop. So as you see we'll select these four images and just drag them on to the widget here and bam they're right there ready and it will tell you the size of each one next to the name and it also has this little icon where you could remove individual uh, elements from here if you'd like. Once you're done adding all your uh, files you simply click the start upload button and there you go. So uh, as you can see it's very quick and easy and user friendly. Okay, now we've gone ahead and I've uninstalled the modules uh, required for this uh, widget from the website so we can start over and I'll walk you through how to do this and as you'll see it's, uh, it's really quick and very easy and uh, we just need to download and install three modules from Drupal.org. The first one is file field sources and this allows your file field and your uh, Drupal nodes to um, have additional sources for the file field. So this basically extends the file field to allow uh, multiple sources. So we're going to go ahead and download and install this. File field sources. The second module is PL upload integration. And we'll go ahead and download and install that. And lastly is file field sources PL upload. And there will be a link in this tutorial. Um, to a project page, to a tutorial page that will have direct links to all these uh, module projects so you can find them. So lastly we'll install this one and now we're going to go and enable those three modules. So file field sources, file field sources PL upload, and PL upload integration module. We're going to save this. And the last step for the installation, the PL upload integration module requires the, the um, PL upload library to function. So, and it needs to use the uh, version 1 branch, not the newer version 2 branch. So if you go to the drupal.org, the PL upload integration module project page, there's a direct link to uh, the older required uh, library version. So if you see right here, we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and download that. And rename it so it is just PL upload and we are going to place that in our Drupal installation directory inside of sites all you should have a libraries folder um, for other projects if you don't go ahead and download and install the Drupal libraries module and then this PL upload goes in the libraries directory inside of your 
Drupal install, sites, all, libraries, and then PL upload. And there's an examples folder included with the PL upload library. Uh, go ahead and delete that uh, for security reasons. Uh, there's some vulnerabilities if you leave that installed. If you forget to do that, your Drupal status page will warn you about this. So we'll go ahead and delete that. And now we'll go back to our website. And there's no warnings. Everything looks good. So we're going to go to our article content type now. Manage the fields. And um, we'll start from scratch. I'm going to delete the one that's already there. We're going to just add an images field. And this works for files also, uh, by the way. So we're going to do image as the type. Save the settings. All right, and you can change all these um, different configuration options to suit your needs. Give it um, um, resolution limits, file size limitations, etc. Here's the main thing. Now with these modules installed, now we have an additional uh, section here that we can expand file field or file sources. So if we expand that. The default that's already checked is the Drupal default um, upload widget that you're used to. It's just the browse button that allows you to browse and um, select one file at a time and upload it. We're going to deselect that. And by the way, you can you can select multiple options here, and if you have more than one option selected, uh, the user can select which upload method they want to use when uploading. Um, so what we want is this advanced upload widget, PL upload. So we're going to select that. Now this is very important. You also need to change the number of values uh, for the amount of images that you want to allow. One is the default. Um, that's not really practical. Um, if you do want to allow just one image with drag and drop, you're, you can certainly do that. You can limit it to a certain amount. For this example, uh, we're just going to do unlimited and also if you want to be able to um, add the alt tag to the images you can check this uh, for SEO purposes so again <coughs> we just expand the file sources um, select the advanced upload widget and change the number of values to um, suit your needs. We're going to save that and now we're going to go and add a new article and there you go. As you saw in the beginning of the demonstration, and we can take multiple files and drag and drop them. And you can remove one if you need to, or more. Once you're all set uh, for the files you want to add, you click the Start Upload, and there you go. And then you can add, uh, give them the additional Alt text if you'd like and then save your node once you're done. And that's it. And as you can see it's very quick, very simple to do and extremely user friendly. So hope you enjoyed.